welcome back and today is saturday we are on the 9th of july so many things to share with you <laughs> and of course we always give the first minute to welcome all of you who are joining in for the first time i'm so pleased to meet up with you and really give me a chance to get to know you from all across the world wow welcome back so today we're going to cover a very very important uh, break news news break of the story and how this news break will affect the stock market and that's exactly what i want to go through with all of you okay so while waiting for the rest to stroll in <laughs> i used the word stroll in all right uh, come on in and once you're in and just let me know on the chat that you are already watching me live live right oh am i watching live live right now and just drop a note on the live chat let me know you're in a good evening wow let's see who's the first to come in all right okay looks like everyone is partying out there <laughs> okay is there anyone coming in to say hello um let me just click right over here we are good yes i see the first student i have is a uh, hiram welcome back good to see you hiram and of course uh uh you can come in watch us from uh, facebook twitter linkedin as well as youtube well much very much prefer you guys join me from youtube i think it's a much 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 more sharper over there okay so uh good to see every one of you here some of you drop me chat on the whatsapp <laughs> kind of a different place to communicate with me okay so i'm going to start off right now today we have a big news that kind of a uh, pop up across everywhere and that's of concern and what is this news about let me switch over my screen right over here here we go and that is elon musk says he's terminating the 44 billion twitter deal this is big news all right i mean he kind of brought us through a roller coaster ride uh one thing to buy and then the bot approve and then start accusing that there's a uh, spam bobs and then he trying to put together the financing and this is the clearest sign there's going to be a big legal fight one of the caveat is this he has signed off and agreed that he will not perform due diligence and that's what the board of twitter is arguing on that you know you wave that off and right now you're coming after us accusing us that we have more than five percent of the spam bots in our twitter account that's not a fair game all right but to elon musk doesn't matter because he's he's the richest man yes welcome back uh good to see you christopher oh you're ahead of hiram <laughs> but you type later <laughs> good to see you ken and jay yes welcome back very happy to see all of you joining me all right you're gonna have a good takeaway so this deal happens and once that involves uh involves a legal fight it has binary outcome either elon i think there's three outcome not binary outcome let me be clear number one the judge says that elon musk you have to pay up one billion that is the penalty fee from walking away from this deal one billion outcome number two elon musk because you waive that off on the dd due diligence you have to buy up um, twitter at 54 dollars per share which is 44 billion dollars or outcome number three you can walk away because twitter has not proven to anybody that they have less than five percent of the bot count now each of these outcomes will have dire consequences on three companies we're going to go through three companies today and of course the first one that we really want to look at is the party of concern none other than twitter all right so straight away this is the stock price of twitter and we are looking at before the announcement trading at about 37 50 dollars and right after the announcement it has dropped to 35 here we go check this out wow big drop all right so it has spiked now close to five percent and that was the closing price around 37 and right now it has spiked all the way down to 34 and float back up to 35. this is really bad bad for twitter because they have freeze hiring many of the senior executives have left the company 
and they were all prepared for the grand new owner to step in and revamp the business. And in the middle of this, the bombshell was released, all right? So for those of you holding on to Twitter, the ending has not finished yet. You never know the ending, all right? We really never know, but there's more negativity than positivity because right now everybody just spotlight on one thing. The bot, the spams in Twitter is seriously of concern, not just to Elon Musk as the buyer, but also to the advertisers who paid billions of dollars you know, just running ads on Twitter and they say, oh, am I broadcasting to real human beings or just robots out there? So that raised a big question mark. Now, the only outcome for Twitter is very, very simple. Even if they win in the court, they have lost in the eyes of the public. All right, because Elon Musk is so influential. One idea popped up in my mind and this idea is a very, very simple idea. You know, you should really fight and fight all the way. Don't be half-hearted in a fight. <laughs> Let me elaborate the concept of you want to fight, you fight all the way, all right? Can you guys type in fight all the way? And wow, this is a big topic today. If you, you are adopting the idea of fight, fight all the way, can you type into the chat and let me know you're responding to that. You want to fight? Fight all the way, don't fight halfway. <laughs> all right, see who's the one to type in chat. Type in, in the chat, fight all the way. Okay, who wants to fight? <laughs> Welcome back, Adeline. Jim, fight all the way. Or Jim is the first one to type fight all the way. Christopher and Hiram. <coughs> so, oh, I'm, I'm extremely dehydrated. Let me grab some water first. <coughs> <coughs> You know, I'm just having a very long call with my uh, book editor and <coughs> I forgot to hydrate myself. So right now I have to start coughing, but I should be fine, all right? Let me drink some carbonated water. <laughs> now, what's the concept of fight all the way? Let me give you the big surprise. All right, since you have been accused as a company you are having more than 5% bots and you are trying to defend yourself, which is, you can't defend. We know for sure. And Elon Musk did the same. They run a polling on Twitter and everybody say Twitter is a, is, a, is a joke, a bloody joke. I mean, right now, Facebook is the same problem, right? We, we have Facebook page, verified blue tick. And any, all the people who post on my Facebook page are the scammers, the spammers, the scammers, I don't know how to deal with this. We spend more time deleting all those nonsense and, you know, Michael Saylor shared the same. His Twitter account, he spent more resources, more time getting rid of bots than anything else. So I have a suggestion. And the suggestion is this, right? You're fighting with this guy and you are losing the fight because you can't defend something that you already know is the truth that you have more than 5% spam. How do you fight a guy like this? Give him the maximum pain. And my, my suggestion is Twitter, since you have the guts to take off the account of Donald Trump, who was your ex-president, and you have the guts to cap the account of, of, of President Putin of Russia, who invaded Ukraine, why don't you have the guts to take down the account of Elon Musk? I'm suggesting to you, you should take down his account <laughs> because his influence is on Twitter. <laughs> let him go elsewhere. Let him go Facebook. Let him go TikTok. And let him go to whatever place he wants to go. Take it down. Just like how you took down Donald Trump, how you took down uh, those that you didn't agree with for whatever reasons, maybe this is the time you should take this down and let him feel the pain. <laughs> All right. But of course, it's just my humble suggestion. At the end of the day, the board of directors makes the call and everybody, you know what, knows for a fact that Elon Musk have put Twitter up as a bloody joke. It is a joke right now in, on Wall Street. All right. So your stock price took a hit. You're not going to recover from this stock price. You're not going to have another white knight who has sufficient firepower to own this great company. So, take down your number one enemy right now, all the way, 
remove Elon Musk from Twitter. And let's see what happens. All right? I think that's a valid suggestion. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. What do you think? And step number one, we look at the stock price of Twitter. All right. We know it took a hit already. If I click on maximum, I want to prepare the audience. This is how low it will go when they fight with the richest man on earth. It will possibly go to $15. That's the historical low. And don't be shocked by that because I'm sure you know the the, le the legal advisors or the lawyers on Trump on on Elon Musk's team is going to put forward many many evidence to document the fact that number one they have more than five percent of spam accounts, which is valid. We know for sure. I go in, <laughs> I got all kinds of DM from my Twitter account, and mine is a verified Twitter account. All kinds of uh, spams just keep coming in. And today, one idiot just sent me this. Let me, let me tell you how absurd it is. This is how bad it is on the spam right here in the Twitter, right? Did I delete it already? Uh, okay, so this is the latest spam trick. This is the latest, latest. I, let me try to show it to you guys so that you guys don't fall for it, all right? And there will be people who will just fall for it, as absurd as that, all right? So I can put this out. Ah, here we go. This is the latest spam or the scam in the world of Twitter, all right? Let me read out to you how silly it is, but I can tell you there are people who fall for this kind of uh, scams. Hello, I have 4,230 USDT in my wallet right now but I don't know why I can't withdraw the money. Can you help me? If the withdrawal is successful, you will transfer 200 USDT as your return. Thank you. This is my wallet key and address code. 12 digits recovery free, da -da 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 -da, and the private key. You know this is going around? The moment you go follow through, you probably get scammed already. <laughs> and I can tell you, there are people who will get scammed by this kind of uh, scammers. This is all over Twitter, right? So I want to show you guys this and kind of uh, funny to me, all right? There are people falling for it. Okay, so step number one, you guys are ready for the stock price of Twitter to drop to the all-time low $15. It's valid. Number one, Elon Musk's legal team will put up a fight that's more than uh, 5%, all right? Number two, they also put out a fight that the fact that, you know, Twitter has freeze hiring, 30%, I, I read somewhere about 30% kind of uh, left the company or something like that, all right? And they will claim that, you know, business is not as per usual. I'm buying a company that's kind of declining, <laughs> right? So uh, while this is happening, and number three, the, the lawyers will put up a strong fight, a very, very strong fight that all this time, Twitter has deceived their advertisers. So that's a much bigger fight. So Twitter, you're in for a long haul fight with Elon Musk, all right? And you know you will lose. And I suggest to you, please take down his account. <laughs> the second stock that we're going to look at is none other than Tesla. With the announcement of this great, great news, look at what happened to the stock price of Tesla, all right? So before the closing bell, it was trading at $752 per share. And right now, right after announcement, weeba, $769 per share. Up 2.32%. If we click on the five-day range, holy moly, look at that. This is beautiful, right? Vroom. And we have positions in Tesla, right? So this is really gorgeous to us. But I can tell you how this will play out. It is high time Tesla returned back to normalcy in terms of its stock price. Normalcy means it should go above the $900 price range, which kind of set apart what we call the 200-day simple moving average line, kind of plateau around $900. So by the time it crossed over the 200-day simple moving average line right over there, the stock price will be about $900. It is time it goes above the $200. 200-day simple moving average. This is important, okay? Why? Because there's no reason why the price should be below that line other than the fact that 
Elon Musk got dis distracted with Twitter and the investors don't like the fact that their boss is going to split his time between SpaceX, Tesla, Boring Company, Neuralink, and Neuralink, someone just gave birth to twins to Elon Musk. <laughs> and then right now, you have Twitter to deal with. So many issues to deal with, right? So the investors are generally happy the deal is killed off. So I think the stock price is about to go up. That's point number two. The final third point before I leave you and uh, you can go back to sleep in peace, and that is this. Ready? Here we go. We're going to go and attack point number three. Dun, 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 dun. Trump's media group receives subpoenas related to digital world prop. Now, this has to do with his company called Truth Social, which he set up because he was kicked out of Twitter. All right? And I think using this as the template, this is what Elon Musk is thinking. He will set up an alternative platform so, you know, Twitter, you can ban Elon Musk, but he's getting ready to set up another platform to fight with you, Twitter. I think it's cheaper for him and much more valuable to him. All right? He doesn't need to migrate the users from Twitter over to his platform. With his own platform, it will overtake Twitter easily. All right? I believe that to be true. So after he done his due diligence, he realized that, come on, why I take over this whole backlog of pain and legacy issues, I might as well launch my own startup and taking the lead from Donald Trump, right? So, we, so far we've seen two stock prices, Twitter and uh, Tesla. We're going to look at the third stock price, DWAC. And that is the one that kind of uh, spike up 29% mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I click on the Friday chart. Look at this, Mama. <laughs> from twenty, from twenty four dollars or closing price at twenty four, right below, right there. And the moment they announced that the deal is off, weeba thirty two. Stock price has spiked up twenty nine percent, which is about thirty <coughs> percent. Excuse me. Now, if it's thirty percent, if we play on options, that will be five to ten times more. Uh, that will be one hundred fifty to three hundred percent profit return, right? So I, I given you some clues right now. When the price goes up, and which is kind of related to me teaching you options trading right now, right? So for options trading. When the stock price goes up, right? So let me just put it out right there. That's the stock price. What will go down? If you buy a put options, the value of your put will go down. All right? Because it's the opposite of stocks. And that's a put. So this is the time I'm thinking that we have to go in to buy puts of this company and buy it really, really cheap because the stock price goes up, the put price goes down. You can buy it really, really cheap because they got another bunch of issues that are unresolved. What is that? They are investigated by the Securities Exchange Commission, both Donald Trump and the SPEC company, both parties. All right. So I want to refer to this Article by Motley Fu, kind of a really, really fascinating investigations over the shell companies pending merger with Trump Media and Technology Group have heated up, right? So right now both parties they are they are being investigated, and you know, I think for a certain truth behind the backdrop is also politically motivated, because Donald Trump has hinted that he'll run for the next presidential race. And he's a powerful force in the Republican Party. No one louder and noisier than him. And he's the, the gangster, the OG original gangster, right? So if the Democrats want to win, they better kill him off right now before he even has a chance to stand for the election. So I believe this 
investigation will open up a whole bunch can of worms and that is also linked to the investigation on Capitol Hills. There's so many things going against Donald Trump, right? Because they got to bring this guy down. That is the so-called truth, according to his true social, all right? So I've given you three very, very fascinating ideas right now. And of course, nothing beats the fact that, teacher, what exactly and how exactly you're going to go in to position a trade like this, right? How many of you want to know how, how I'm going to position my trade for, for whether Twitter, Tesla, or DWAC? How many of you want to know that? If you want to know that, can you just uh, say something on the comments <laughs> or the, on the chats? <laughs> I wait for your response because there's a time lag between what I'm saying right now, real, real time, versus by the time you receive it on your end. I think about 20 seconds delay, right? How many of you like to know, wow, Jay is the first one to respond? Holy moly. Okay, let's see who else is responding. Christopher is responding as well. Very, very good. Paul is also responding. <laughs> and, you know, you guys stay up late on a Saturday night. I'm very, very, very appreciative of that. Now, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Tonight, I'm going to fire off, I think, easily about two to three trades. Some of them, I might fire off on Sunday, right? And if you look at on the screen on the right hand side, let me see my finger is pointing where right now. Ah, or here. Or here. No, on here. Okay. If you point, I point right there, all right? <laughs> I have to point it correctly. Okay. You look at the QR code that I'm pointing at, all right? For those of you who are subscribers of my Don't Stop Believing Trades, you're going to know the answer, all right? And I'm going to fire off the trade right after this. YouTube live stream and put my thoughts around it. There are three candidates we are looking at, Tesla, Twitter and DWAC. How do we go about playing out this big announcement that Elon Musk is walking away from the Twitter acquisition? I think there's so many opportunities to take advantage of. And I think I want to leave you with this idea. Anything that has got to do with Elon Musk, price will move, all right? So a few things around the planet. Uh, my focus right now is just Twitter, Tesla, and DWAC. I think this is good enough for Saturday. And I want to thank you all. If you are interested, you can go right there and subscribe to our Don't Stop Believing Trades. Every day, I firing one trade. That's my commitment to our spiking community all the way till the end of this year. So that you guys go through the most painful period in the history of Wall Street. We're going to look what one great idea and trade every single day. All right. So I leave you with this idea. I think it's a big, big announcement. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, can you please click on the subscribe or the notification bell so that the next time I come on, you'll be alerted and you can come in really, really early. So a big farewell to uh, I see Hua Chen, James, Adeline, uh, Tam, Christopher. Uh, Jim, Jay, thank you so much for joining me and I wish you have a great, great weekend. Tomorrow is my duty in the church <laughs> and I kind of do a little bit of messed up today. I forgot to switch off the live stream and the broadcast was running. But it's okay, all right? Tomorrow we're going to have a great show in the church and then I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night for our everyday 100-day stock market inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and may God bless you. Goodbye, everybody.